guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to come on here and share with you all my Ipsy I'm bagging for, what is this, November? November, I had to think. Share my Ipsy I'm bagging for November and then also discuss with you my thoughts, my opinions on the October bag. So first of all, the bag for October I think was really cute. I think the actual design of it's really cute. However, I don't feel like this is very Halloween-y, like the color. I think, I mean, I guess nobody really wanted probably an orange bag. The pink bag is more girly, so I'm assuming that's probably why they pick pink over like an orange. But I do like all the little different graphics they have on here. The little witches, the little vampire teeth, the little candy corn. It's just super cute. The bag just is really cute itself. The next, I mean the next, the first product that I want to talk with you guys about is this Koki Nail Polish. I actually really love this nail polish. I loved it so much that... Ipsy had a deal where you could purchase six more polishes and I ended up purchasing those that six set and I ended up featuring it into my Friday favorites because it's amazing. I really do love this polish. I feel like it's a good gel polish. I feel like it lasts on my nails for a good amount of time. I wouldn't say it's like anything like two or weeks or anything like that, but I did have a good three or four days before I saw any chipping going on. I think it's a really good polish. I think it's a very nice two coat, almost a one and a half coat. Honestly, you could almost do a one thick coat and get by with it. It's a very, very good polish. I really do like this and it's it's a five free, I think. It's a formaldehyde free DP, DBT, whatever, DBP and toiling free, sans deep, what well, I don't know. Anyway, it's got a different, a lot of different products that are not in here, so which is really good. Um, they recommend that you apply two coats, but honestly, I feel like you could honestly get, get away with a one thick coat type of polish. It's really, really nice. Really did enjoy that. The next product is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I tried to use this foundation, however, they sent me the shade 117, which is Y225, and it's way, way too light for me, so I couldn't really use it, but I have tried this foundation before, and I can tell you it's a really good foundation. It's very hydrating, and I feel like it does a good job of, like, um, how do I say this? It's like good job of hiding any kind of imperfections on your face because I do have some acne scars going on. So I feel like it's really good for that. And the other thing that I didn't really notice at first when I tried this foundation out is that it does not come off on your clothes. So like say you're going to hug somebody and you know you like they got a white shirt on. Well, I have found that this one does not come off on people's clothing, which is amazing because that's always an embarrassing thing. I always go to hug my kids and end up having makeup on their shirt and then I'm like, sorry kids. But this is a really good one for not coming off, so I think it'd be a great one for like wedding days and things like that. I think this is a really good foundation. I would consider purchasing a full size of this. I almost purchased a full size of this during the Sephora VIB sale, and I didn't because I purchased two other foundations, and I was like, look, I think two's plenty. But this is a really good foundation. I would recommend this, and I would definitely purchase this. The next product I have is this Sephora Fierce Flicks Eyeliner. This is actually a really nice eyeliner. Let me give you a little swatch of it. It's very, very black. It's almost the blackest eyeliner I've ever had. I do have the Jessie's Girl. I do have the Kat Von D Trooper. And I feel like those are black, but this one's very, very, very richly black. However, don't put it on like the, because it's like a flick. So you would think you could create a wing with it and it'd be great. Don't do that. Because I ended up having it at like a little baby wing and then I ended up rubbing my eye. And I can rub my eye with a Kat Von D. I can rub my eye with the Jessie's Girl and I have no issues. However, I rubbed my eye with this and I had black all down the side of my face and it just looked awful. So I think it's good just on your lawn, on your eyelid. But don't try to create a wing with it if you are someone who actually touches your eye throughout the day. Because it will rub off and then you have these little black spots on the side of your face. And that's just not attractive. So I think it's a good one, but I don't think it's like smudge proof, waterproof or anything like that. I would recommend Jessie's Girl over this. However, I feel like this is more of a richer type of color black. So if you are looking for a rich black color, I think you would definitely like this. Just be careful not to rub your eyes. The next product I tried out onto my No Makeup Monday series and to show you guys how this mask actually worked, it's the Dirty Girl De Detoxifying Mud Mask with Pascalate Clay. This is so drying. No, this is not good whatsoever. I think this is a terrible mask. At first I was like, oh, it's not so bad. And then I feel like it progressively got worse. My face was really red after I used it. I don't recommend this for someone who has dry sensitive skin. Maybe if you have oily skin, I think it might be good for you. However, if you have dry sensitive skin, steer clear. Absolutely do not pick this stuff up. If it came in your bag and you have dry skin, don't use it. Just not good for your skin whatsoever. If you'd like to see the video on that, because I did, like I said, do a video on that, I will have it listed below so you can check it out. The next product is this Tristique. 
It's a mini matte lip crayon and I have the shade Belize Bordeaux. This is so pretty. I really do like this lip color. It's a very nice, on the, when you rub it on your hand, it looks pink. But when you put it on your lips, it honestly just looks a little more reddish, but not so red that it's like a deep true red. It's more of a pink red, so, but it's just very, very pretty on your lips. It does not look like the color that's on the tips here. The color is completely different than what's on the tip. So if you're thinking that's, that's the same, co same color, it's not. But I do think this is a good product. It's very hydrating and I feel like it stayed within inside the lines. I like how small the tip is to it so you can kind of create your lip nicely without using a lip pencil. Very, very good product and I would consider purchasing more of these. I'm actually going to pause you guys just for a second. My camera says it's overheating and then I'll come back on and we can unbag the November bag. So just hang tight guys. Okay guys, I'm back. So now let's get to unbagging the November bag. Let's see what all kinds of products came inside of here. I think the, as far as the October bag goes, I think it was a pretty good bag. I think there are two products in there that I'd say are just meh and one product that's, well actually no, I'm lying. One product is meh and one product is absolutely not. So I think it's a good bag. Just not the best one I've ever received from Ipsy, to be honest with you. So let's get into this bag. This is the November bag. And let's pull it out here. So first of all, it has a lot of products sitting on the outside of the package. And we'll get to those first. But let's see what the card says. The card says it's a rock starlet. So this is the theme for the November bag, rock starlet. If you guys are not familiar with Ipsy, I will have it listed below if you'd like to sign up for Ipsy. It is a $10 a month subscription service where you get these makeup, different makeup products. I like to review one month at a time. That way there you can see how good the products actually are that you're getting in the bag. Is it really worth your $10? So as you can tell from last month, I think it is to me based on the fingernail polish, the foundation, even though it's not my shade, and then the lipstick. I would say that one definitely was worth $10. So now for this month, we are getting three masks from Bonavant. These are botanical mask packs. This one says it's a sodium hyaluronate plus lotus mask. The next one says that it is a chamomile and tea tree mask, which is awesome. Tea tree is awesome for acne prone skin. And then the last one says it's a collagen and olive mask. And collagen is, of course, you all know is really good for your skin because that does create elasticity, which is going to help so that you're not so wrinkly. So these are really good masks to try out. Hopefully they will be good to, t to actually on the skin. But they sounds like the ingredients in them are good anyway. So I will be testing these masks out over the next month and let you guys know how I feel about those. Now as for the bag, the bag looks like this this month. It's got this little constellation looking like design on here with lip products and I think it's all lip products. No, it's got brushes and palettes. It's all kinds of makeup products. The bag itself feels almost like that neoprene type of material. It's like almost plasticky, but almost like... I guess like a wetsuit or, or something like that. Something that you wear to the beach. Like those wetsuits is what it reminds me a little bit of. So let's open it. Oh, it does have a cute little star at the top too. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's cute. Got a cute little star. I really do like the design of this bag. I think the blue and the gold is really pretty together. Very cute bag. And it seems very sturdy. And then when you open it up on the inside, it does have a gold liner, which is very cute too. So on the inside here, I do have a couple of products. I have something from Formula X. So it says Formula X nail color and it's the shade, maybe. It must be written on the bottle. So let's pull it out so we can see together. So it is the shade. It does not have a shade on here. Huntress, it does have a shade. So there is the shade Huntress. It's like a green with a brown and gold accent color to it. It's like a duochrome almost. Looks very pretty. I'll be excited to try that out. I do like Formula X nail polishes. I think they're very good. They're usually like a two coat and I feel like they, they last pretty good on the nails. It's just a tiny little sample here because look at last month's one. I mean, there's last month's polish and this month's polish. We're getting just a small one this time. That's okay. How often do you actually go through a completely full polish? Not very often. The next product I'm pulling out is this Ciate London. So we got two products from Ciate last month and this month. Ciate London Liquid Velvet. What is this? A lipstick or is this a chapstick or what is this? I have no idea, but it's the shade Diva. Um, it's a liquid lipstick, it says. I'm going to give it a little swatch so we can see what it looks like. Ooh, that is a really pretty red. So that'd be great for the holidays. So I have to try that on my lips to see how good it is. I don't really smell anything, so it doesn't have a scent to it, which is good because sometimes lip products can smell good and sometimes they can smell bad. So it's good that it doesn't have a scent at all. That's all. That's even better. The next product is this Tarte Maracuja Oil. And here's the little package to it. It's got this little bamboo looking design on the front of it. And then when you open it, it does. Oh, it's so cute. Look at the bottle. It's got the little bamboo top with the little gold um, 
push thing here. Very, very cute packaging. I really do like this. I have tried this oil before and I feel like it is a very good oil. If you're someone with dry skin, I think you will appreciate this oil. I think it's really, really nice and hydrating for your skin. It's really good to mix in with foundations too. So I'm excited to try it out again now that winter is approaching. That'll be great for my skin. And the last product in my bag is a product from The Balm. This is the Mad Lash Black Mascara. So here is what the mascara looks like. And then let's pull it out so you can see what the little wand... Ooh, that just like... You don't have to twist it. Oh my gosh, the wand is really wonky looking. Look at this wand. Tell me that doesn't look a little crazy. So that's an interesting looking package and wand. You just pull it open. That was weird. Okay, so... That is a mascara I'll be trying out this month. So those are the products inside my October and my November Ipsy bag. And I will, like I said, come back on here next month and tell you my thoughts, my final opinions on the products that came inside the November bag when we unbox the unbag the December bag. Hopefully December is going to be pretty amazing because this one, so far, it looks like we have some good products, but we'll have to test them out and see how good they actually are. I'd love to hear what you got inside of your November bag. Did you get some great products? Did you get something similar to me? Did you get some, the exact same bag as me? That's always nice when we're twinning here. I, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.